Good morning, Landed YouTube. My name is Anne, and I am here today with a little yarn chat to show you what I finished and my current whips that I'm working on. Um, today is June 2nd, 2019, and um, it's for me, it's the end of the school year, but not because we go straight through the summer. Um, I work and on cystic support. So let's get started. Uh, I have two finished objects. I have some, a little bit of a yarn haul, which I know I said I wasn't gonna do, but when you find a good deal, you might as well share it with everybody else so they could find good deals too. And uh, I'll show you what I've been working on. I finished uh, this is made with Cotton Colors by Ace, it's an AC Moore brand of yarn, and it goes from yellow, it's a lightweight number two, it's 100% cotton, and now I totally get why knitters love lighter weight yarns, um, as wearable items. After making the shawl, I think it came out fabulous. I love it. It's not huge or anything. I'm only 4'11". So, if I make something t uh, oversized, it doesn't usually look good on me. But I really love it. And this is what I have left. It's a good amount of yarn still. There's yellow. There's yellow, purple, I don't have any more of the blue left in the ball, but that's okay because there's green underneath. I did, making this shawl was totally out of my comfort zone because I'm not used to working with thinner yarns. Um, I crocheted with it and I worked from the center of the ball, which I normally don't do, but they had a nice easy center pull so I thought I might as well try it I don't think I'll use that method again because my yarn became very very tangled I did not enjoy balling this up uh, I was going to put it on the winder but the winder I have isn't really good with thin yarns it's more for a worsted weight or a thicker bulky five or six but I really 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 love I think I'm going to make another shawl maybe not this pattern maybe I'll try to knit it instead I don't know we'll see so that is finished object number one finished object number two is just a simple gartered stitch scarf and it's a little over five feet which is perfect. I have a hat made with this yarn. This is the project that I I bought to work to work on and then I finished it at home because it got too big to put in my bag but this is what it looks like. It's nice and bulky. It's made with kaleidoscope yarn. This is a project. Originally, I, I made an infinity scarf with it, but it curled up. It really curled up, and even if I blocked it, it wouldn't uncurl. So I fragged that and made a scarf with it. Um, I don't think I'll give it away because it's slightly fuzzy after I frogged it. But I had made a hat um, way before I made this scarf. Which I really, it's really nice and warm. Um, so I'm excited to wear it for winter. It's made with kaleidoscope yarn. Um, it's 
80% acrylic and 20% gold. It's a Loops and Threads brand, but I'm almost positive it's been discontinued. Um, because I don't see it online anymore, or I don't see it really in the stores. My store, my local, Michael's had a few screens of it, and that was it in select colors. Originally, I bought this to make a hat for my niece. And she loved it. I crocheted. It's like a shell stitch pat pattern. Crocheted. And then I was going to give her a scarf for this year's birthday. But she's moving to South Carolina. So I don't think she'll need it down there. Not this weight anyway. It's super. I want to say it's a bulky weight 6. And it's really thick and warm. This hat I made a while ago. It's the same ball of yarn. This yarn really reminds me of the candy shop, the way it, it was spun and wound in the ball. Um, because every ball was different, the way it was spun, they were slightly different. The colorways were the same, but it was like wound differently with different colors. The thing that I, I made this hat on straight needles um, last year and then I sewed it up, I sewed it up to join it together, but this is why I don't like, see how it's like gartered, gart, or it's a two by two rib, so when I sewed it up, I totally messed up the ribbing of the hat, but that's okay. I still wear it. It's super warm. I would like to add a pom pom to the top of the hat. If anybody knows where to get pom poms for tops of hats, let me know. I haven't had much luck in finding pom poms, but. This is also why I like circulator needles versus straight needles when knitting hats because I hate sewing things together. I am not very good at sewing things together, but I want to learn how to so, sew. Um, on a sewing machine. So those were my two finished objects for this yarn talk or chat or whatever you would like to call it. Um, next I have, I want to talk about plan pooling. So I really wanted to make a blanket, a plan pooling blanket for a really long time. So I picked up. I found this at AC Moore, I want to say maybe around September or maybe the end of August. So I've had this on for quite a while in my stash. Um, it's a variegated, five balls came in this bag. It's Studio Samples by Nicole. It's an AC Moore brand. I want to say maybe it's the Fairfan line of yarn, but it's just a variegated of blue, brown, white, and green in baby colors, which I think is super awesome. There, in this pack, there was five balls, and I think I purchased it for around seven fifty. For eight dollars, seven or eight dollars, but that's okay. I got five balls for that price, so I'm okay with that. Um, and it's a generous amount of yarn. It's a one-pound bag, 
and it's 100% acrylic, and it's definitely a lightweight three. So I decided to work up a swatch to see if I could plan pull it, and I was successful in doing that. Um, so this was one row or one color repeat. But however, when I started the blanket, I probably ripped this out about 10, at least 10 times to see if I could get it to pull. I think I did three color repeats. Um, it doesn't have much of a pulling effect. It's more of a camouflage effect. Maybe it's... But I am tired of ripping it out, so I'm just gonna go, go with it. And hopefully somebody will enjoy this little baby blanket I'm making. Um, I know I watch, um, Ross from Smells Like Yarn, and he is awesome. He plans pool all the time. I love watching his channel. He's a great knitter, and he has really good tips on how to knit with plan pooling. This is a crochet, just single crochet. I tried three different stitches, couldn't get it to plain pull. I don't know if my count was off or what, but that's what it looks like so far. I think I did two color repeats. Um, it's not gonna pull, so, but that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. I will keep trying. Um, so that's whip one, and then this, this is a, my first attempt at plain pulling, a scarf I probably, I made in the fall to wear to work, however, the classroom I work in, it's very, very hot, the heat goes on, and it could go up to 80 degrees in the room where I work in. Um, so I only wore it probably like twice this winter. Um, I attempted plan pulling. I think it may have pulled. I don't think I would use, this is a Red Heart Super Saver yarn and it's the color Wildflower, and the only reason I picked it up, I picked it up at Michael's, it was on clearance, for I think $1.77 at the time, and the only reason I picked it up was to play around plan pooling. This is a knitted version, it's just a simple gartered stitch scarf, one ball, was 200 and 36 yards. Um, so yeah. Um, but if you want any tips or tricks, go go check out Ross from Smells Like Yarn. He is pretty awesome. He's an awesome guy. He knits a whole lot. He does diamond paintings. Um, I enjoy watching him. that and the second whip I'm working on I'm actually a pattern tester I the curious she's pretty new to YouTube as well um, but she's awesome her name I think her name's Sarah and her channel is the curious cuttlefish and I started watching her, 
I think because she subscribed to my channel, so I just subscribed to hers. But she's awesome. She dyes her own yarn, she knits, she crochets, she loves board games, which I love board games too. It's pretty awesome. Um, but she was asking for pattern testers. And so I was like, yes, yes, I love making blankets for a baby blanket. So this is, if you haven't checked her out, I will leave the links, the channels that I've talked about in the description box below. Um, but go check her out. I, I have fallen in love with this pattern. It's super easy. And the yarn, she used a mandala cake to make her blanket. And I think I'm going to try that after I'm done with this because I was able, I didn't have any at the time, but I have, I have this green forest color. Um, it's going to show up. I don't know if that's showing up correctly or not. Um, I had a pound of this. I think it's Karen Simply Saw. It was a Milton bag that I found at Michael's, which is weird because my Michael's normally does not carry Milton bags. This was on the clearance shelf and it was marked $3.99, but when I got it to the register, it was 50% off, so I think I paid $1.99. But this really blends in with the furniture in the living room at the house, so I think I'm just going to make it a lap gain. I have about that much yarn left. Um, but I'm going to probably need, it's a discontinued color, I believe, in forest floor. And if anybody is willing to part with, if you have it in your stash, Karen Simply Saw, in the colorway forest or forest floor, um, I'll be willing to buy it with you just so I could finish this blanket or if you wanted to do a yarn swap or something like that um, I'll leave my email in the description box below and I'll leave or you could leave a comment in the comment section um, but yeah I'm really happy with the pattern It's pretty awesome. I don't know when she's going to release it, but keep, if you want to tune in to her channel, so I'll talk about it soon. I don't know. Um, but that's, I, I actually like the color. I know not everybody likes this color green, but I'm a green fan. And the furniture in the room is like a floral pattern with like a lot of green tones in it that has this particular color. So it does like, it looks really nice in the living room. Um, I don't know how much more I'm gonna get out of this ball. Um, I might not need it, I probably will though. I think maybe I'm gonna look on Etsy to see if I could find it. Um, also, I need a little bit of yarn help because I have no idea what this is. This was a ball of yarn that I inherited from my mother. I have two balls of this. I have no idea what it is. I've never seen anything like this in a craft store. But it has like super thin but then it has like these puff balls in it. And it's all the way through the yarn. 
I really like the color. The color's pretty. But if anybody knows what this is, please leave a comment below. And if you ever used it, I would like to know what you've made with it. I don't know how it would knit or crochet. I'm thinking maybe it would be better knitted than crocheted. And the last thing I have uh, that I would like to talk about is my Walmart hardly ever has new yarn. And they had some Mandala Aubrey's. I know that a lot of people were talking about the new colorways, but my Walmart just got the old colorways. Um, and they just got them in recently. But I haven't really seen mandalas at my store in a long time until I went last week and I was able to get just a regular mandala. These were marked down to a dollar. So check your local Walmart. You might find, if you like mandalas, um, let me know or not let me know, like go check your Walmart and they might have them in stock. Mine had, I got three of each colorway. I got three colorways. This is Troll. Got three of those. None of the centers match. I don't really care about that because I could work with it. I know a lot of people like cent matching centers. I don't really care. I got Genie which I love. I love this mint green with the gray and the white. They're like my favorite colors. And then these are also pretty. I got three in Spirit. They're just, it's just the dark gray, the lighter gray with a mix of blues in it. It reminds me of the ocean on a cloudy day. I don't know why. But that's what it reminds me of, Mandela's. So go check your local Walmart to see if they're on clearance at your Walmart for a dollar. Um, I think these were only three colorways. They took out all the Skinners at my local Walmart. Price checkers. Why would they do that? Now I don't really want to shop there anymore. They want you to download... So I talked to the woman at Walmart and they want you to actually download the app onto your phone and use the price scanner in the app, but for some of the Mandela's, they didn't even come up on the scanner. It just said bestseller and there was no price. Which is, to me, super frustrating. So one, I got one. I got three in each color of the mandalas. Yeah, I'll open this way. So since the pattern originally called the green blanket with the simply soft yarn, I think the original pattern called for mandalas. Um, so I think I'm gonna go back after I'm done this blanket and pick one of these colorways to make another baby blanket. I feel like a lot of people are pregnant right now, so I'm sure I'll give it away to somebody. And the last thing I wanted to go, so at, I was on Michael's website a few weeks ago and they had the Endless Impeccables on sale for around $8. And a lot of the colorways were up when I, so I ordered, usually I don't order from Michaels online because you have to order three of, you know, the same type of yarn. 
but I think because the skeins are so big. These were only $7.97. I think I ordered seven colors because I love, I have confession, I love big balls of yarn. I don't know why. I think because I hate tying in ends and the bigger the ball, the less ends I'll have to tie in. Maybe when I make blankets, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I got it in. This is. I want to say rose. Soft rose. That one in aqua. Which I've used the big impeccables before. And I really like them, so I figured why not. I could do a lot of color blocking. And. Excuse me. I'll have some solid or neutral colors in my stash for a while so I won't have to buy yarn. Taupe. Soft taupe. And one of these can make a baby or a blanket. There's a written pattern on the label, which is really cool. And I like the fact that I don't know when I'm going to use them, but I like the fact that they all come in plastic. Sorry for the wrinkling. Got a black. And previously I ordered, or I found some a few months back at my local Michaels. They had them in, which I'm really surprised because we're a smaller Michaels. We're not huge or anything, so I got, I have a white one upstairs, a gray one, and the color Erin, and they're in my stash upstairs. I got soft gray, open. pale gray. I got one in the lavender. And one in daffodil, maybe? No, butterscotch. So, these were, there was tax on, on there, and I think the total price was $60 or $60. $60 and some change. So when it came down to it, each ball cost around 8 It was eight sixty a ball with tax, which I think is still a really good deal because you get 1,790 yards, almost 1,800 yards in one ball. So this would actually make like a nice size baby blanket. Alright, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for liking, liking, subscribing, commenting. I appreciate all of you. Uh, I enjoy chatting with you in the comment section. Um, I'm thinking about calling this channel Tangled in Yarn. I think I'm going to go into YouTube to change the, the name. I did do a little research and I don't think that name has been taken yet. Um, so I think I'm gonna make all my videos like Tangled in Yard number one, Tangled in Yard number two, and so on. So, but thanks for stopping by and listening to me rant about yarn. Um, future projects will be well, obviously, the ones I'm working on, finish those. I have one blanket that's not currently been worked on in a couple weeks because I'm really frustrated with it. I made a mistake. I had to rip out five or six rows, rethread the needle. So, but I'm thinking about working on that 
soon so I get that one done. Finish my current blankets, my current two whips, probably make another shawl. And I really want to learn how I'm looking into getting a sewing machine. So if you guys have any suggestions on a good brand basic sewing machine, um, either email me or comment to let me know because I don't really know much about sewing machines. My, my sister said Baby Lock is good and also Brother, the brand Brother, which I think Bag o Day just gave away a sewing machine that was the brand of Brother. Um, I don't need anything fancy. I'm not really a fancy person. Um, but yeah, I want to start making project bags, start making quilts. That's my next adventure in the crafting world. Um, but thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Go check out Ross from Smells Like Yarn and go check out Sarah from The Curious Cuttlefish. She has quite a few videos up actually. She does yarn reviews and she knits and crochets. But thank you so much. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye.